Hello there everyone, and welcome back to Napoleon Total War with the Great War mod. We're playing as the Austro-Hungarian Empire in World War I, and last time around we managed to clear out the Poldolsky region. The Poldolsky region, yes, I believe uh, it's called. <laughs> this region we're looking at anyways. So we cleared that out, and we won a major naval battle against the Italians. So our fleet is right now limping back to port, ready to be replenished. I'm a little bit worried because the Italians seem to be building up a naval force over here. They had one ship last time around, now they have two. Now this these could be cargo ships. I'm hoping they're cargo ships. Um, but uh, And then there's also this Italian fleet which is raiding our, ports at, our port at Split. Um, not too worried about them, they have three, so even even at our destroyed uh, or uh, our very uh, hampered ability right now with lots of cannon and crew lost on a lot of these ships, I think that just by the sheer number the enemy is not going to try and attack us, so we, ca we can just uh, steam past, go to the port and repair. I'm sending a Hussar unit, which was supposed to go to Venice, but it's going to go and dislodge these guys, force them out of the port so I can repair it and hopefully start trade again. I'm going to p put a more permanent solution by putting a Imperial Infantry there uh, later on and have the cavalry move to Venice. What we really need though, and something that I forgot to recruit, is we're probably going to need a shit ton of Landwehr battalions to act as police force and just policing the, the regions, home regions, but also the regions that we conquer. Um, and that would definitely have been useful here in Serbia, as Belgrade is very, very unhappy, and we might see a second rebellion. Uh, most likely, today's battle is going to be the battle right here. We've got the uh, Serbian rebel army or maybe it's the just the second wave coming out of the hills to counterattack and try and retake the town after we took it in uh, these on the sort of russian front i've recalled victor from the bridge up there he's going to join here uh we're going to leave the most broken down army which is the army under the archduke um, and what we're gonna have is we're gonna have Herman. He's gonna move forward and he's gonna move to Kiev. And then we're gonna have Victor and he's gonna move down to Odessa Little Tartary. So we conquer another two regions that we need as part of our objectives. But we also need the Kingdom of Romania and we also need Greece. Now Greece is actually at war right now with the Ottomans. So we need kind of to hurry there. Um, I am recruiting Landwehr, hopefully that, plus the troops that bring in, will be enough to at least hold the region, um, make it stable enough so that I can send this army down. I'm not entirely sure if we'll march down, because this, that's going to take quite a few turns if we look at this, so it's going to take at least one, two, three, four, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven to march down there. Six, seven, uh, actually, probably seven, eight to march down there and attack them. Uh, or by the time, um, that we're ready to march out of here, the fleet might be ready and we can take the then take the army, march to the sea, which would only be three turns then load onto the ships and then we could disbark more or less within I think two turns um, down here and then we'll uh, attack so that would save us about two turns maybe three if we're lucky um, so yeah that's kind of the situation right now uh, most likely I'm gonna end turn and the Serbians can attack and try to retake Belgrade we're gonna defend it and then after that, it's mostly going to be movements, and we'll see what if we end up being able to do another battle. It might be another naval battle if I'm in a if I'm able to replenish my ships here, force these guys out, 
sink them and then move down to protect my cargo ships down here as a kind of second objective of this video. First one's going to deal with the Serbians attacking here. Um, there's nothing I really need to check, I don't think. They built or they burnt down the college at Sarajevo. I am researching petrol right now. We're going to see about researching petrol, mass production and radio equipment so we can upgrade to the Doctrine of Trench Warfare. We'll get a whole host of new units. Um, a lot later units. You can see them. We've got helmets and stuff. we got mountain guns, artillery forward observer, observers and a lot of stuff like this. Uh, also you can see um, recruitment cost is going to go down and so on. With all of that said, let's go ahead and end turn and prepare ourselves for the Serbian attack. Okay, so here is something that I completely forgot to mention and I also had... I, I, I remember it last time I played, but it was a few, a few days ago that I made the last video. Um, so I'd forgot actually about this. It wasn't a major thing, but Spain has actually declared war. France, Italy, uh, yeah, basically the, uh, the Allies, uh, the British and so on. And they're looking to join us. They are, so far, they're only really allied with Portugal, but they're asking to ally with me. They're probably going to ally with the Germans as well. And they're going to give me a thousand gold, which is good. I definitely need that. Uh, and it also will strengthen our ties with them and make sure that our, our trade becomes stronger. Uh, so we'll definitely accept that. Welcome to the Alliance, Spain. And there we have it. So the Serbians are attacking. They outnumber us by about 700 men-ish. Thing is, I've got artillery though, and I'll be able to dig in behind cover. So that'll probably do quite well for me. Um, notable movements at the end turn. There weren't that many that needs commenting on. Luigi Cadorna moved over to Milan, so now there's no visible major Italian force on that front. On the Russian front, there were a lot of small units moving back and forwards, and uh, some small units actually moving in to our uh, the con the newly conquered region. But it was like single units moving in, hiding, um, sort of on the edges. Nothing to be super concerned about. And with all of that said, it's time to take on the uh, Serbian counterattack. Let's dig in and defend Belgrade. The Serbians are advancing on our trench line. It's time to open fire. My artillery is blasting overhead and we can see the Serbian troops making their way towards the trench line I have built. Uh, it's very good cover and we're able to just pop up and then shoot at them as they advance. We can see that they're losing quite a few troops out there and we can just imagine the chaos and carnage. We can already see tons of dead troops over there. We can see them fall for every kind of volley. Troops being thrown up into the air by the explosive shot. Not entirely sure. No, that's hay bales. I thought that was the machine guns. It's a really good trench line that we've built over here. And then over to the left of that, we've got uh, troops hiding behind these walls. Really good defense there as well. Able to shoot down the advancing Serbians. And quite quickly, their infantry attack stalls. We have uh, blown up the center and forced hundreds of troops to uh, retreat, but even more lie dead on the ground. So the ones that we were able to concentrate on in the center were absolutely destroyed. Uh, as the enemy's advance has stalled, it's time to take out those pesky machine guns. 
so that I can actually advance. The thing is, the machine guns are really deadly on open ground like this, and they are outranging us as well. So they will be able to murder us if we uh, if we march out of cover. This area right here, you can see a lot of fire coming in. That's all machine gun fire. And with the angle of this area, with the wall being so low, meant that a lot of shots actually found their target and just slaughtered all the troops that were sitting out here in the corner. I'm ordering uh, my artillery to bombard the enemy machine guns. We have uh, silenced them, destroyed all the guns but one. So they have seven crew here um, guarding it. I like that these guys actually have um, early war uniforms. That was one of the problems we had in the um, kind of early war um, multiplayer scenario that we did. That uh, the Austrians, their machine guns, um, had the late war uniforms, so they had helmets. Might have been the difference in between light, uh, light uh, machine guns and heavy machine guns. There's still two crew ready to fire that thing. I think he's gonna actually move it away. It just needs the other guy to wake up. So he can move it. The Serbians don't really stand it. They've actually made quite a headway shooting at this unit on the flank. Uh, we can see the exposed part of the unit out here. Taking a lot of damage. And then a few guys are actually hit kind of in the middle of the unit. I imagine also because of the enemy machine guns out here. Time to target them instead. I placed my artillery way back here because there's multiple walls. So I'm hoping that... Um, wait, they destroyed one of my cannons? Have they hit any... One cannon was destroyed, but no one's actually died. Uh, also kind of strange, this general is... Uh, but we, I think we've already gone over that. This unit is losing heavily. You know what? Hold fire. Let's see. I, I was hoping everyone would sit down and cover that way. You know, you're gonna move. You're gonna move back further. Hopefully, out of range of the enemy. We're gonna get this guy get up to the ridge there, and we're gonna get this guy out. We're gonna flank the Serbians out there. My artillery blasting these guys to pieces. The zone, these two machine guns will be silenced. As the enemy gets closer, we'll be able to hopefully concentrate with these two to fire upon the enemy from a better angle. They're concentrating right here on the corner. You know what? Put this unit back into action. Look at there! There is where all our troops have died. They were able to somehow concentrate over there. I sti I do have a cavalry unit. We'll swing that in. Get rid of what's left here. Concentrate on that single unit that is left. The flanking units should be in position to start opening fire. And we're going to see the casualties mounting on this unit right here. And forcing it to flee pretty soon. 66, 63. They must realize soon that the, uh, the fight is truly over. There's no point to uh, continue hostilities. <laughs> 33, 25, 20 men, 18 men. Are they gonna fight to the lot? 18 men out of 240, and then they decide to retreat. Right, we can allow them to escape. Let's move forward. 
And now they're all retreating. Let's make sure that these uh, rebel formations are all completely destroyed. So I don't have to chase after these guys. As they raid the countryside. But there we have that. Just a massive amount of casualties. Moving in on such entrenched positions means certain death for the enemy. Hundreds, thousands of dead Serbians lie dead in their futile counterattack on our entrenched position. Without artillery, they don't stand much chance to uh, dislodged uh, units like that. So, uh, we see the devastating effect of trench war, or charging a trench like that. With that, uh, we don't have to watch me gore through and murder all these Serbians. So let's go back to the campaign map, shall we? And here is the result of that devastating defense. The enemy deployed 2,400 men. They lost 2,000. We l the l deployed 1,700. We lost about 300. Um, absolute devastating. In terms of our losses compared with what the enemy killed, we can see that the very few friendly fire on our side. Uh, not so much on the enemy, I bet those machine guns, they mow down about 200 of their own men by accident. Highest killers goes to infantry, managed to get 325. Where do we have the Bosnian Herzegovina troop? Uh, didn't do that well, but I think it was their placing in the line that um, would make it so that they didn't actually shoot that many. You can also see that they didn't lose that many, uh, comparatively. But then, um, yeah, compared to the ones that lose a similar amount, they did pretty poorly. But I mean, these guys were right in the center of our line, so they weren't able to fire that much and just took stray fire throughout the battle. But yeah, let's go ahead and run this through, shall we? Britain declares North Sea military area, so they're blocking off all German trade up here. They should be doing that. I actually saw, as soon as it, uh, Spain kind of joined our side, a British Navy was dispatched from Gibraltar and laid uh, and blocked this port here. So uh, my trade to Spain um, is blocked. So we're probably not going to get any money out of that. Um, he gets command when defending on land. Minus 25% to army movement range. Ah, that's bad. That means that his army now moves even slower than before. And also, the bloody Serbians are still there. We're going to have to pop out just to completely annihilate them. 400 men. And they're gone. We don't make it back. They're still very unhappy here. I'm going to go ahead and exempt them from tax from now. But we're definitely... Oh, Belgium was destroyed. Uh, construction report. Good. We need to deal with these guys as well. Um, otherwise, they're just going to go ahead and raid. Let's see. Cavalry made it through. Maybe I can get... We need a lot of those uh, militia units. We're going to get more of them. Can I get... I can't get any here. So we have three now. Should be able... Unless there's a machine gun there. That could be difficult. Let's see. The ships. Need to move back. Good, good, good. Let's take a look. Did we lose... We lost quite a lot. 1300, I think. So yes. The trade to Spain and Portugal is now lost. Which is bad. I want to see... Have they gotten a third ship? Yes, they do. I think those are cargo ships. Would be nice to capture them. Um, 
Let's go ahead and do some moves up here. So Victor needs to move, continue on his move over here. Um, Herman. Yeah, let's move. He's gonna move towards Ukraine. We're kind of barely hanging on to this province. But um, soon we'll be able to move there as well. Where can I get more? I'm recruiting light troops up there. Where can I get? Oh, here I can get a Landwehr. We can get a Landwehr out of that. We can get a Landwehr here. Let's just get Landwehr from everywhere we can and then we'll march them to wherever we need. We have a special Landwehr troop up here. The thing though is they're pretty good. They've got really good accuracy compared to the others and they've got a decent amount of reload skill. Um, actually, what is there? They're better in melee. They're actually better in melee and better at reload and better morale, but that's about it. They're also twice as expensive as the other ones. Uh, we do have three militia units and a cannon. We're gonna send that over there. Um, but I want to kind of limit myself in terms of the artillery use, so... I think we'll actually go ahead and once this cannon arrives here, we're actually going to delete it. Or no, you know what we'll do? We've got this general coming down. We can set up an army around him, but I want the... I want the militia to continue forward and then these guys can join the general and they'll be a smaller army. What do we have here? That needs to be replaced with uh, militia. I can't recruit any militia right here. Uh, Sarajevo's back doing oil. That's good. Um, and I think that's it. There's no trade opportunities to open up Netherlands, Norway, Belgium got destroyed. The Germans moved in. And they've taken that. See if they're able to outflank the French and actually continue even further forward. Um, there's some buildings I need to do, but otherwise that will end turn and see what the enemy has in store for us. We need to somehow pacify these guys because they are... that They are very troublesome. They're very troublesome indeed. We have a technological advance. Petroleum acquisition. This nation I made... made uh, petroleum is a natural occurring flammable liquid that consists... Well, why do I need to read that? Ah, we have another observer. No, observer spotted. So these were the small units I was talking about. Russia is sending loads of them down here. And then they kind of disappear and I can't see them anymore. Um, we're going to continue. Herman's going to continue. He's going to attack here, hopefully. And then we're going to have Victor attack all the way down here. Where it's a, although it's a slow progress. Path blocked. Uh, trains gained for a minister, he's competent. Troops recruited, a lot of the Landwehr from Austria. They're gonna march directly down to here. It's gonna take a few turns for them to get there though. Um, we're gonna get even more. We're gonna need a lot of them. Um, and we've got tracks being laid in Croatia, towns in Hungary and Croatia being built. Um, what I might want to do is, once we get that, actually get the second uh, railroad centralization. Double track and quadruple track. Once we get that, that should increase the movement rate and also the replenishment rate in a lot of our regions. Uh, we're going to continue marching this guy. Time to force the Italian fleet out. At the same time, our fleet is able to go into port. It's gonna cost us about 2,000 to repair it. But it's definitely gonna be worth it. These ships didn't need repair. I could have sent them to guard the fleet down here instead. They're still at three here. This fleet might very well go down and murder my trade fleet. The, the Italians are actually counter-attacking. Luigi Codorna is making a great move towards uh, the Tirola region. And he's being, um, and we got some troops coming up here. 
Um, what we're going to do is we're going to take this general then. And we're going to take these guys. We're going to march to this bridge. And we're going to see about holding these guys from crossing. With the artillery piece and these guys, we should be able to hold the river crossing. Um, Oscar needs to move out. The province will hold. So he needs to move. And hopefully he'll be able to intercept Cordorna somewhere in the Tyrol region. And that'll be good. Um, da -da 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 -da. And then we move that, we move that. Now we need to deal a little bit with the Serbians. We're moving over here. These three should be able to attack there. You get back into Belgrade. Still, even with exempting them from tax, they're minus eight. Um, repression is not very good. We get nine repression. So I imagine the cannons do not count. I imagine the general and the cannons do not count because we have 11 units here. So um, nine though. So that would be maybe one other unit. Maybe the general counts as well. And the cannons do not count. We would need another eight. Hopefully uh, the militia. The militia is one, two, three, four, five turns at least away from getting there. I don't know how we're going to get Militia over here. Oh, we can recruit it here. Nice. We can recruit it from over here. For some reason, you can't get it out of um, some of these buildings. Uh, we're building a depot there as well, so hopefully we'll... Uh, the thing is, building a depot there might be, um, might be uh, a bit late. Because uh, I'm not expecting us to be pushed back there. But who knows. Uh, my aircraft's finding out some stuff over there. Yes. Uh, oh yeah, I was building that. We were tearing down the um, the supply depot and building a village instead because uh, we're not going to be uh, having this as a war province. Might have to come back, come back and bite me once uh, we go to war with the Romanians. But the thing is, with the road connections through here, going through the mountains. Um, seems foolish. With that said, I think we're going to end it here today. So, uh, a little bit of a lighter episode. We only had one kind of rebel, but we're definitely going to have more of those. Uh, I'm going to play that battle off camera. I don't think you need to, you guys need to s see that. And yes, with all of that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this and hopefully. I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye.